So I'm often asked, how do you move these big pots? And I had these pots outside for a few days. It's time to move them to the backyard. And they are heavy. I mean, really heavy. So they're 55 gallon barrels cut in half, made into self-watering pots. So I bet you they weigh a good 100 pounds. But uh, there's a couple ways I move them. First option is this large cart I've got that has this fold out bottom. I can pick them up and put them on there. So that's like the uh, smaller pot option or maybe medium pot option. And then I also have a garden cart and sometimes I'll pop some in the back there and pull them around. A lot of times I'll do that with a bunch of smaller ones so I can move them all at once. They won't really hold up real well to the, to the heavy ones. Something that size or that size might be the biggest it can handle. And now I want to talk about how I move the big pots. So you'll see I have a tractor and all I do is I put a ratchet strap around the pots on the bottom and I drag them. And so far that's been the safest and easiest way to move them to the back. And then once I get them to the back, then I can use this guy to either drag them or push them around to where I want to push them. So let's take a look here. All right, so let's go ahead and ratchet strap this guy up. I'll show you how it's done. Do my best to stay out of the camera here and not block it. There's a little hole in the back of the tractor here that I put this guy on. Toss the other end around. And now one of the keys here is you want to leave it, you don't want that strap up high in this pot because it'll just tip over. You actually want it down towards the bottom here. The strap's long enough where I can wrap it around twice. Okay, so I've got it wrapped around twice in the bottom, and now all I'm going to do is tighten it up. Okay, it is tight. Let's try it out. And with a little bit of elbow grease at the end, I used the uh, yellow cart here to move it into the hoop house. So, only about 50 trees to go. What fun.